Today we have how did the world react to the American Civil War? This is from History Matters. Let's jump straight to this. It shouldn't surprise you that when the American Civil War broke out, it was pretty big news all over the world. But how did the rest of the world react to the American Civil War? And right. did they plan to do anything about it? So before starting, it's important to know that the USA wasn't seen by many of the world's nations at this time as a major player. A rising star for certain, but the USA wasn't seen as being equal to Europe's great powers. Not even Austria. As such, many <laughs> wow. leaders saw the American Civil War as being a bit of a sideshow to events in Europe at the time, like the wars in the Italian peninsula or that time that the Danish provoked Prussia into a war. Europe's major players sent observers to the USA to see what tactics and technologies were being used, and they were, frankly, not impressed with the quality of warring going on. As for reactions, <laughs> starting so with the USA's neighbour to the south, Mexico, its government's initial reaction was one of awkward silence. It had just finished its own civil war, and due to its previous war with the USA, there was no love lost. Not that it had much time to they think about it, since in late 1861 the French invaded, and so they'd spend the rest of the war having their own problems. As for the North, Canada was a series of British imperial domains at this point, and as such, its foreign policy was determined in London. That said, the people of Canada were firmly in the camp of the Union, and many thousands of volunteers went south to fight against the Confederacy. Whereas to the British, the American Civil War was seen as a surprise, and one which complicated Britain's foreign policy. You see, Britain imported a lot of cotton from the now Confederate states, and given that many parts of the country financially depended on them, the British were keen to see the war end quickly for economic reasons. Right. Now, this didn't have to be a Union win, and British shipyards produced several warships of the Confederate States. The Confederacy hoped that Britain would recognise its independence, which would likely lead France to do the same, and would strengthen its position diplomatically. Britain never did this though, because it didn't want the United States to invade Canada, wars were expensive, and the overwhelming majority of the British public supported the Union. Especially when the cause of the war moved from restoring the Union to abolishing slavery. And over the years, many, many thousands of people living in the British Isles, overwhelmingly Irish, went to the US to fight for the Union. Thus, the oh, Confederacy really? got the little help. As for the French, its reaction was the same as the Austrians, that these developments were a welcome surprise. It allowed Franco-Austrian intervention in Mexico so that Maximilian Habsburg could be placed on the throne there to increase their influence in the New World and also to give back the money that Mexico was refusing to pay its creditors. Both nations had unofficial contact with the Confederacy over mutual recognition, yet neither France nor Austria did anything because they knew it would mean war with the United States. Yeah. Whereas Prussia's reaction to but the- But then again, they said they didn't even see the United States as like a superpower, so why did that matter? The of the Civil War wasn't one of shock, but that it brought may with it- may Maybe it mattered because like, they had so many wars going off during this period, they just couldn't bother with another war. Opportunity. Despite being disappointed with the quality of their troops and tactics, Prussia favoured the Union. Prussia was itself a very conservative state, but its leadership knew that acting against the Union would negatively impact its image amongst the very pro-Union German-speaking world, which as you'll know, it was trying to unite, and so by pushing itself as a firm ally of abolitionism and the Union, Prussia's image amongst the German-speaking world could be improved with very little effort. And what about Russia? American leadership was bolstered by a large Russian fleet sailing to their coast, which they hoped would help them blockade the Confederacy, but fun fact, no. The fleet was actually there to stop itself from being caged up in the Baltic Sea in case of war with Britain, as tensions between the two were high. Tsar Alexander right. II was an outspoken ally of Lincoln and pushed for the total destruction of the Confederacy. And as for the Ottoman reaction, they were overwhelmingly pro-Union. They signed a trade deal with the Union, banned Confederate ships from their waters, and also made a ton of money since they were the second best source of cotton for European markets and their main competitor had just been blockaded. All in all, Jeez. the world's reaction to the outbreak of the Civil War was one of initial surprise Smart followed play. by it asking itself, how can this benefit me? I hope you enjoyed this episode. Right, really, Thank really interesting video. I actually do have a whole video on the American Civil War on my channel if you guys want to check that out. If you did enjoy that, make sure you do leave a thumbs up, make sure you do subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video.